How can music mean something? This is the question I asked myself when I began my artistic research in composing music using field recordings or sounds from the environment around us. If you'll indulge me, let's listen to a little bit of it now. I strongly believe that all art has the ability to communicate and to impact the society in which it is created. That said, my chosen discipline of music is an historically abstract medium. It might be easy to see how a painting of, say, a still life or a landscape can be representational, but it is possible to communicate the same thing through music. We live in a a visual dominant culture, so it's not as immediate to see how a sound-based art form can communicate something. Spoken or sung words, of course, can be representational, but can sounds themselves be meaningful? If we hear the sound of a bird, we might have a corresponding image of a bird in our head. But what if we hear something that's perhaps not quite a bird, but is still somehow very bird-like in its character? Would we still connect it to that same image of a bird? And how would our understanding of the sound change in its new context? To look at these questions from an aesthetic perspective, I created a piece of music for orchestra and recorded sounds, and that's what we're hearing now. The piece is called Isomorphia, meaning same shape, and it features field recordings taken from across Canada of natural and urban environments. In the piece, they appear both in their original exposed forms and also through transformations into instrumental copies. Using software-assisted analysis, I transcribe the sounds for instruments and place them in a context where the source of the sound is always in flux, changing from something real and recognizable to something abstracted from that. So, through this piece of music, and others like it, perhaps we have the means to find a new way to listen to the sounds in our environment, and maybe even communicate something. Thank you for listening.